Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flix. In this tutorial we will install and use Syncback Free, a free utility for Windows 10 to back up an unlimited number of files and folders. And after the initial setup we will reduce the daily backup process to just three clicks, irrespective of the number of source folders. In our last tutorial we noted the strengths of Macrium Reflect in creating full system images and drive cloning, but backing up individual files and folders was treated as a premium feature not available in the free version. This is where Syncback comes in, and we navigate to the download link shown on screen now and contained in the written description accompanying this video. We click on the Download Syncback Free button and the relatively small download commences, progressing quickly to completion. In Google Chrome, we click the upward pointing arrow which inverts, prompting the appearance of a menu from which we select the option to open. On most systems, this triggers a query from user account control. As this is clearly the consequence of our installation, we can safely click yes to permit the installation. Before moving forward, we close the open browser window purely for ease of reference, leaving only the installer window visible. In order for the installation to commence, Acceptance of the license terms is mandatory, and we indicate our acceptance by clicking the radio button labelled I accept the agreement, before clicking next to proceed. The next page simply provides a brief overview of the purpose of Syncback, and we again advance by clicking next. We are then able to select an installation path for the software, although novice users can accept the default and again click next. We however click browse and navigate to a customised installation path of our choosing, before also clicking next to proceed. The installation is a rapid one with a progress bar moving from left to right as the relevant files are installed. Once the setup wizard is completed, we can simply click finish and we are taken to the main window which initially appears somewhat empty, which we will soon remedy. In this scenario, we wish to set up the software to back up the contents of three folders, but the process would be similar if it was 5, 10 or over 100. The folders are contained within our C directory and we will specifically back up our downloads folder containing three sample files at the beginning of this video, our documents folder containing a single graphic file and our videos folder containing 20 videos. Again, these are samples and your folders could be taken from anywhere on your system. They will be backed up to our F drive which is a 16 gigabyte memory stick. We begin by clicking on new in order to create a new profile. We then assign a profile name of our choosing. As we are backing up our downloads folder, it seems appropriate to simply name this profile downloads, then click next. There are three distinct types of backup available to us, and your choice will depend entirely upon your preference. Backup only copies from source to destination, so in our example it will only copy from our C drive to our F drive, and will not copy or delete files in the other direction. Synchronize will apply rules to copy both to and from the source and destination. Whilst you will find scenarios which are suited to both backup and synchronize, we will focus on mirror. In this mode, the destination folder perfectly matches the source folder after the backup is run. Any files which exist on the destination, but which are no longer present in the source, will be deleted from the destination. Any files which have been added to the source will be added to the destination. Files updated in the source will be updated in the destination. We therefore select mirror as our mode of choice and click next. Assuming we are not using FTP, which will be correct in the vast majority of cases, we simply click done to accept the defaults at this screen and move on. A message appears advising us that the next window will provide the opportunity to configure our profile. We need to configure the source of the backup so we click on the directory icon next to source, which opens a dialog from which we can navigate to our source folder. In this instance, the dialog opens by default at our documents folder. We therefore navigate to our downloads folder and click on select folder. We can now see that our downloads folder will be used as the source of our backup, with any file or folder contained in the downloads folder copied to the destination. Of course, we have yet to specify that destination, so we will now do that by clicking on the folder icon next to destination. The selection window opens with our downloads folder, so we navigate to this PC and scroll down to our backup drive labelled F. We open the F drive, and as it's a new drive, we will find that it's empty. Rather than backing up our downloads to the root of the F drive, we will create a specific folder into which our backup will be placed. So we right click, and drop down to new before moving across to folder, which we click to create a new folder, 
which we renamed Downloads Backup. Having renamed the folder, we now select it. Our profile is now complete. All items contained within the Downloads folder of our source machine will be copied to the Downloads Backup folder of our backup disk. We are warned that because we have created a mirror profile, any item which is not present in the source will be deleted from the destination. We will see what this means in practice as we continue with our sample data. We can click OK to clear this message. We now have the opportunity to run a simulation by clicking Yes here. The simulation is a useful tool to evaluate the profile without actually copying or deleting any files and allows us to quickly identify any issues with the setup of the profile. In the simulation, we see that our three files, highlighted in green, will be copied to the destination. This is exactly what we want and we click to continue the simulation. Back at the main window, we see that our profile has been created and the last run was a successful simulation. We can now run the profile for real. With our profile selected, we click Run. The comparison window, which we have just seen in the simulation, appears once again. This time we click on Continue Run. The three files will be copied for real. Now we return to the main window, where we see the last run identified as a success. Let's check. Our Downloads folder currently looks like this, and if we open our Downloads Backup folder, we can see that our backup exactly matches the source. Here are the folders side by side. For the remainder of this tutorial, we will place the source on the left of the screen and the destination on the right. Now let's delete one of the installer files from the downloads directory. We now have an imbalance between the directories as a consequence of the changes made to the source. These changes will be evident until we run the profile again. Now we rerun syncback, select our profile and run it. The key property of mirror profiles is that the source is supreme. As we now have a file which no longer exists in the source, but still exists in the destination, the destination file will be deleted to match the source. We therefore click to continue the run. We are warned that doing so will bring about the deletion of the copy in the destination, and we click yes in acknowledgement. Upon completion, we note that the result is one of success. Our side-by-side -side comparison shows that the file deleted from the source has now also been deleted from the destination and now both the original and backup folders only contain two files. What happens if we delete from the destination? We now delete one of the application files from the destination directory, leaving the source untouched. With our profile selected, we select the option to run it. The profile runs and advises that it has found a file in the source which is not present in the destination. This is the file which we have just deleted. The profile will therefore copy the file from the source to the destination. We click continue run and we are advised that the profile has run successfully. When we return to our side by side comparison, we see that the source and destination directories contain identical content. In the next example, the destination folder is entirely blank. We return to sync back free. This time we intend to run the profile without confirmation. So we right click the profile and drop down to the run unattended option, which we click. Running the profile unattended removes the summary and confirmation phase, producing instant results. There are obvious dangers to running the profile blind, but removing the confirmation requirements adds an element of speed. The profile is immediately shown to have been run successfully. Shown side by side, we again note that the source and destination are identical. Now that we've created and tested our first profile, it's time to scale up the process, creating profiles for the other folders which we intend to back up. We will therefore create profiles for our documents and videos folders. We click on new. We name the profile, this time naming it documents before clicking next. We advance to the profile type selection, where we again choose mirror and click next. Accepting the defaults at this screen, we click done and we acknowledge this message by clicking OK. We return to the profile setup window and select our source and destination options. When we click to select our source folder, the dialog opens in the last directory we visited, namely our downloads backup. We therefore navigate to our intended source directory, namely our documents folder. Then we click select folder. With our source folder confirmed, we now select the destination. Again, the dialog opens where we last left it, so we navigate to this PC, scroll down, open our backup drive, right click, select new, then folder, and rename our new folder documents backup. We then select this folder as the destination for our backup profile. Upon clicking OK, 
we are again advised that the profile which we have created has the power to delete files, and we acknowledge this by clicking OK again. As before, we can perform a simulated run, and click Yes to do so. We are shown that the single document will be copied from our Documents folder to our Backup folder, and we click to continue the simulation, which concludes successfully. Viewed side by side, we open our Documents Backup folder, which is empty because so far we have only performed a simulated run. We return to sync back and run the profile unattended, which reports a success. Viewed side by side, the single file has copied successfully. Of course, there could easily be thousands of files here, rather than just one. Now we will quickly set up the third profile to backup our videos. Whilst we're viewing our backup drive, let's add a new folder and rename it Videos Backup. Then we open our original videos directory, currently containing 20 video files. Side by side with the destination directory, which is presently blank. We return to sync back, create a new profile, name it video, set the backup type as mirror, advance, acknowledge, specify a source, on this occasion our videos folder, then a destination, in this instance selecting this PC. Scrolling down to our backup drive, choosing our videos backup folder, and selecting select folder. With our source and destination folders now specified, we click OK. For the final time, we acknowledge the warning that our profile has the ability to delete, and we run a simulation. Note the larger volume of files which will be copied. With a successful simulation completed, we run a real profile unattended, which also completes successfully, as shown in the side-by-side -side comparison. Now let's add extra files to the source. Here, we've created seven extra videos. We again run our profile, and upon successful completion, note that these new additions now also appear in our backup. So now we have three profiles, each of which backs up a specific folder on our source drive to a specific backup folder. At the start of this video, we promised you three-click daily backup. Let's move closer to that. To reduce the number of clicks, we start by grouping our profiles so that they run together. We create a new profile and give it a name. In this instance, daily backup. Where this profile differs from those we have created so far is that this will be a group profile, which will allow us to bring our individual profiles together and treat them as a single entity. We tick the box marked this is a group profile. We acknowledge as before, but the next window differs from those that we have seen before. The group initially contains no profiles, but we can add any of our existing profiles to the group. We therefore select all three of the profiles which we have created and click the arrow to move them into the group profile. They now leave the all profiles list to join the group, and we click OK. We are now given the opportunity to run the simulation on the group. This will run all three of our profiles one after the next. When we click next, the first profile runs. The profiles run alphabetically by given name, so our documents profile runs first. As we have just run and tested our profile, it's absolutely fine that no differences were found. Differences will of course be found once changes are subsequently made to the source. As we're running all three profiles, we received identical messages in relation to our downloads profile and our video profile. After a successful simulation, we are returned to our main window. Note now that all of our profiles are grouped into the daily backup group. They can now be run either individually or collectively. We can also create as many groups as we require. As with our individual profiles, the group can be run unattended, and we successfully complete this operation. Now we're much closer to the three-click daily backup. To bring us closer, we right-click on the sync back icon and select pin to taskbar to ensure that we can access it easily. We can then reposition it to our liking, and we drag it to our desired position. Now for our three-click challenge. Once we've connected our backup drive, click one to run sync back from its taskbar shortcut. Click two to right-click on our daily backup group, and click three to run the group unattended. We have succeeded in creating a three-click routine to backup all of our vital files and folders. We can add as many profiles as we like to the group, but the work involved to run the backup will never extend beyond three clicks. Although it's a topic for another video, we can actually reduce this further, and we could, for example, run a script mapped to a keyboard shortcut to reduce this to a single keyboard combination, or even have that script automatically run without user input. We've also mapped our backup routines to our Stream Deck for single button activation. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see a tutorial on that topic. Also in the comments, 
We want to know what was your worst data loss and what do you do now to back up your data? Are you using a great backup solution which we should know about? We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. If you can provide a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like more, you are very welcome to subscribe to the Tech Fix Flicks YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Subscription is of course entirely free and provides easy access to all of the videos posted here. Clicking on the neighbouring bell icon means you will be notified whenever a new video is posted. You can also keep in touch by following the official Tech Fix Flicks Twitter account. Until your next Tech Fix, goodbye.